can say a lot of things about the Chicago Bears organization. You can talk about their mediocrity, their level of suck, their largely level of irrelevance over the course of the past three plus decades, and you know what you will get from me? Absolutely zero resistance or argument for that. In fact, I will usually drive a lot of that conversation because it's absolutely 100% true. You know, ain't no reason for me to get mad, upset, or butthurt about it because that's the reality. Those are the facts. So what I don't do typically is sit there and trash talk a ton of other teams, other than maybe for some good fun, um, because I have no room to talk. Like it would have been something back in the 90s as a Bulls fan if I trash talked the Knicks or somebody else. And yeah, at that time, could certainly live that life. Been 22 years since the Bulls have won a world championship. Can't trash talk anybody anymore except the Knicks. Still, can still trash on the Knicks. That's acceptable. Because what have they done since then? Exactly. It's all relative. But this brings me to the Dallas Cowboys and Cowboys fans. Who walk around and strut around like they've got some type of entitlement sense to them. Like the football world and the sports world as a whole kind of bows down to them. And I hear them so often. Like when Cowboys fans will take shots at my Bears, number one, and it don't matter, number two, of all organizations, you are the last ones to have the right to talk any trash whatsoever. Because newsflash, recent history is not very good. I'll give you an example. In the past decade, seasons 2010 through 2019, there were four teams in the NFC. Four! Let's count them again. One, two, three, four teams in the NFC that failed to make at least the conference championship game once in the entire decade. Four teams! The Redskins, the Lions, the Tampa Bay Bucks, and you guessed it, the Dallas Cowboys. Now we're not even talking about making the Super Bowl here. We're talking about in the previous 10 seasons, they are one of four teams in the conference that failed to make at least one conference championship game appearance. One. One. Why are you talking trash to anyone? Why? Why, why, why? And the whole thing of looking back on the 90s. Hey, a-holes, take it from somebody who's a Bears fan and a Bulls fan. It's all you got to look forward to. I understand it. That's a long damn time ago. There's really no point in talking trash about it anymore. The last time the Cowboys won a Super Bowl... I was a freshman in high school. Next March, I'll turn the big 4-0. You can't sit there and hold that forever. America's team, America's team, my ass. Just because the media pumps them up all the time and talks about them all the time, which is largely deserved just because of the size of the fan base, when you look strictly at performance, you guys have been a joke and a laughing stock for over two decades now. For over two decades now. And what really makes this appalling, what really makes this appalling, if you're a logical Cowboys fan, is in the previous decade, you saw the Giants win a Super Bowl with Eli Manning, and you saw the Eagles win a Super Bowl in your own division, the NFC Leafs, with a backup freaking quarterback! And you can't even make one NFC Championship game! One! And you got Cowboys fan, they're still trying to talk trash to anyone? Sit down and shut the hell up! This is how bad and pathetic the Dallas Cowboys are now. We'll just use the Bears example. We could use other examples. In the decade between 2010 and 2019, the Chicago Bears made it to an NFC Championship game with Jay freaking Cutler as their starting quarterback. In that previous decade, your organization actually kind of got the quarterback position right with Tony Robo straight into Dak Prescott, and you have zero conference championship game appearances, you freaking scrubs. 
And if you want to rewind to the previous decade, what makes it even more pathetic, more pathetic, if that is even possible, is you bring in Bill Parcells, can't even make it to a conference championship game. All the while, in that same decade, that 2006 season, the Bears made it to a Super Bowl with freaking Rex Grossman as a starting quarterback. So the Bears have more recently went to an NFC championship game with a vastly inferior quarterback. And they have more recently went to a Super Bowl with a significantly, vastly inferior quarterback. And yet I still hear Cowboys fans try to trash talk others. Try to talk shit. The hell do you have to say? Nothing. Nothing. Sit down and shut the hell up. Now maybe this year it finally changes. This year you finally move down from Jason Gear. I certainly think you could be a contender. But it has been over 25 years since your team has been really, truly relevant and not media relevant, but actually relevant from a football standpoint over two decades. And you got the nerve to trash talk. You're in the same damn category in the last decade over crappy organizations along with the Washington Redskins, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and the Detroit Lions. Get real. You got a big stadium. That's nice. Who gives a crap? Because the product that your owner, Jerry Jones, the clown he is, continues to put in there largely sucks, underachieves, and underwhelms. This is kind of a reality check, if anything, for Cowboys fans. You really should rename your team the Dallas Bears. Because there's not a whole lot of difference in recent history. A lot of mediocre to bad performances. All the while, a bunch of talk of stuff that happened 25, 30 damn years ago. Or more in some cases, depending on how old the Cowboys fan is. You know, when, when the Bears fans talk about 1985, it's both fun and kind of pathetic because that's all we really got to latch on to. If you're a Cowboys fan, yeah, you got the 90s big whoopty frickin' do. It's kind of pathetic, too. What else you got, homie? What else you got? Nothing. And all the while, to make it even more pathetic, I want to reemphasize again. They even had Bill Parcells, and he couldn't get it done there. They had legitimate, legitimate NFL quarterbacks. Franchise guys, first Romo, now Dak, and they can't even get that far. We have scrub ass organizations like the Bears making to a conference championship game with freaking lazy, unmotivated Jay Cutler and sexy Rexy. We're tanning two with Rex as our quarterback. That piece of garbage, Rex Brooksman. You are the Chicago Bears of Texas with a better quarterback pedigree. And over the last two decades, it hasn't mattered. You are the Texas person of the Chicago Bears. Talking about a bunch of crap in the past that isn't relevant in any way, all the while being drugged down by mediocre to horrible ownership. Just because you get more media attention at the end of the day doesn't change the result because, oh, by the way, your results have been worse over the last two decades. How about your team win something meaningful? And then you can trash talk. Until then, sit down and shut up.